We have an update now on a story we first brought you yesterday. It's about a South Bay woman who was attacked while she was wearing a hijab. And today we learned the female suspect has been arrested. KPX 5's Kit Doe caught up with the victim who has been waiting for weeks to hear this very news. So it turns out Mountain View police were canvassing homeless encampments and shelters looking for the suspect, a Tusa Big Lari. Word got out, and so she turned herself in. It makes me feel so much better because I wasn't the only one who she attacked. We caught up with Yasmin Abukder speaking from her new home in Florida. From day one, she's been outspoken in her pursuit of justice. This is very important to me. I want this to make an impact, and I want this to change something because it's it's not okay and I don't want it happening again. Back in July, Yasmin was walking along Castro Street in downtown Mountain View. Her brother helped demonstrate how Big Lari suddenly approached her from behind. She tapped the back of my shoulder. She grabbed both of my arms. She pinned me against the wall. So she's sitting there choking me and I'm like, help me. Like I'm literally talking like that. I'm like, help me, help me. A gathering crowd stopped the assault, but Yasmin says Big Lari continued on a verbal tirade. You are a terrorist. You, you hacked me. And I was like, I did what? What is wrong with you? Yasmin actually filmed Big Lari trying to escape on a bicycle, flipping off the crowd as she left. A few moments later, Big Lari was arrested and charged with battery with a hate crime enhancement, but was released the same day. The 43-year-old then failed to appear for her arraignment, and the judge issued a bench warrant for her arrest. Which I was. Big Lari, who was homeless, is now undergoing a psychiatric evaluation to see if she's fit to stand trial. To attack someone because of uh, their religion, their sexual orientation, or their ethnicity is deeply un-American. Santa Clara County District Attorney Jeff Rosen says if the case goes to trial and Big Larry is found guilty, he'll ask the judge to assign volunteer work and classes in addition to jail time and fines. Just because someone has some issues with mental illness does not mean that they're not still responsible for their conduct. She will get justice, and so that's what I'm hoping for. That's what my gut feeling is that something something good is going to happen out of this. I put a lot of effort into it, and I feel like a good, a good outcome is going to come out of this. Kitto, KPIX5.